Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for February 19th, 2024, from 1 John chapter 3, Testing the Spirits, Discerning Truth from Deception through God's Word. Previously, we heard from John, who emphasized a significant commandment, distinct from the Ten Commandments, urging believers to believe in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and to love one another. Confidence in Christ leads to the expression of love. John affirms that keeping Christ's commandments involves abiding in God, reinforcing the connection between love, appreciation for Christ's work, and following the Ten Commandments. The concept extends also to the mystical union of Christ, further deepening in the Lord's Supper, where believers receive all of Christ through the ordinary elements underlining the profound promises of God. John then continues from 1 John chapter 4, verse 1. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. Now, in this verse, the term spirits refers to teachings, doctrines, or messages that individuals claim to be inspired or guided by the Holy Spirit. John is cautioning believers about indiscriminately accepting every single thing that sounds spiritual because not all teachings come from God. So these spirits could be teachings of various individuals, including false prophets or deceptive influencers who may present themselves as spiritually enlightened or inspired, but are not really aligned with the truth of God's word. The apostle is warning against blindly accepting such messages without evaluating whether these messages are in agreement with God's word. So testing the spirits involves scrutinizing these messages, and to be fair, even this message, comparing this message and others to the teachings found in the Bible, and discerning whether they are consistent with what God's word teaches. The concern arises from the presence of many false prophets who throughout history have misled people by presenting distorted or misleading interpretations of spiritual truth. So, John is concerned for the people. But in order to test the spirits against God's holy word, first of all, you need to read and understand God's word. And that's the major problem because our sinful nature doesn't want to spend that time studying God's Word. And if we fail to study God's Word, well, then our human sinful nature takes over and says, whatever is pleasing to me must be correct. This is the trap that as Christians we could fall into. But let me ask you this question. Have you ever had a thought that you knew was wrong, and you might ask yourself afterwards, where did that strange thought come from? Well, we do have these random thoughts, these random straight thoughts, and we know that they're wrong, and where do they come from? Our sinful nature. So how can we be certain about the spirits or teachings from the world? The bottom line is, everything must be tested against God's Word. In essence, John encourages believers to be discerning and critical thinkers, relying on the guidance of the Holy Spirit and the authority of God's Word to be able to distinguish between teachings that are correct and truly from God and are pointing us back to Christ and those that are misleading or false, pulling us away from Christ. God's peace and many blessings be with you and thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. 
Thank you again for listening.